Yeah, so we've had a lot of people say, you know, it's great, I really want to do this whole food plant-based thing, but where do I start? How can I practically apply this? What are the things that you like to do and what are your favorite recipes? Yeah, or like people have asked, like, where do I go get recipes? What are some websites that we can use? Um, how do I do it? So Yeah, and the thing is, is we have gone through a lot of cookbooks. We've been doing this for a while and we've kind of figured out which ones we really love. And we have a whole stack. And I'll tell you, we narrowed it down probably from... How many cookbooks? I don't do know. Have? A lot of cookbooks. <laughs> we narrowed it down to our top five, which should be yeah. pretty good. So, um, let's see. Let's start with uh, Forks Over Knives. So, they make a great cookbook. They also have a uh, video that you can watch on Netflix. Netflix. So, if you haven't seen Forks Over Knives documentary, please go see it. It's very good, very well done, full of beneficial information. And so, if you're looking to lose weight, this is a great cookbook for you. Well, not only lose weight, but if you're looking to just really, really get the optimum health, maybe you need to reverse some diabetes or some heart disease or something along those lines, you want to have a book like this because it's healthy food. And you'll notice yeah. all the cookbooks we're talking about, they're not all on the same spectrum as far as completely, totally healthy. I mean, yes, they're healthy. Mm -hmm. They're healthier than the standard American diet, but some of them have a little bit of oil or this or that added, which is yeah. fine. It's fine every now and then. And then some of them are super healthy like this one. This one's a very healthy one, uses very minimal, or I think actually they use zero oil. Some of these cookbooks don't have a lot of pictures, so we love pictures. We do. Uh, this, the Forks Over Knives has, they have a few in the middle. Those recipes tend to be made more frequently. Mm -hmm. So, books with more pictures. Are we done with this book? No, I wanted to say probably my favorite recipe out of this book is the curried millet cakes with red pepper coriander sauce. Mm. It's good. It's a really good recipe and it's got a pretty picture too. Yeah, you know, um, that sauce actually was a base for um, the cheese sauce that I invented uh, to go on our tacos. So I might share that with you guys in a future episode. <laughs> Summary of this entire video is my favorite recipe in the whole wide world is Russell's tacos with his taco sauce. Done. Which is not in the cookbook. Nope. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the next one that we have has lots of pictures. Chloe's Kitchen. She just, uh, well, recently opened a restaurant in New York. This recipe book uh, has a lot more pastas in it. Um, more kind of, I don't want to say uh, junk food vegan, but more Americanized that's uh, <laughs> veganized yeah. right so it, but it doesn't have a lot of the uh, the fake meats or meat alternatives it's still very whole foods mm -hmm. and I would say our favorite recipe in there is probably the stuffed ricotta shells Ooh, those are so good so we have our own version of the stuffed ricotta shells that we did for Grand Forks Herald so that's actually online we can leave a link in the description below for that and anything else in the this other one? thing that's really good are the garlic knots oh my goodness oh they're yeah so, good. so this goes on the, the oh, less the, healthy side though as well yeah so if you want to have a stellar meal you want to have um her caesar salad with a vegan mm, caesar dressing the caesar dressing the garlic great. bread and then the pasta of some sort Ooh, yep. so good no, i love yep. all the pastas in here yep. um so she actually won uh, i believe the cupcake wars so she does have cupcakes in here she does have donut recipes in here so if you're jonesing for those uh, less healthy options, but they're veganized, Chloe's Kitchen's cookbook, uh, or mm -hmm. yeah, Chloe's Kitchen yeah. is the way to go. So next up. Next up. I want to, yeah, let's do Rich Roll's book. Uh, so I, I've really been enjoying some, uh, actually his wife, I think. Rich this. and Julie did yeah. it together. So I've really yeah. been enjoying the uh, pasta sauce. Like it's marinara sauce made from little cherry tomatoes. You yeah. just kind of blacken the cherry tomatoes and put some few things in the Vitamix and whip that up and uh, pour it over hot pasta. And then we have that with a salad and different salad dressings. Okay, so this recipe, the vegan lasagna, is one of, the, uh, one of our kind of favorite recipes out of this book. But they use the same pasta sauce, that marinara sauce that I was just talking about, the blackened tomato pasta. Page 101. Or the blackened tomato marinara sauce. A really good book. Um, my one caveat with this book, I would say, is there's some ingredients in there that are a little harder to find. Mm -hmm. um, it's not like For one sure. of those things where you, oh, I have everything that is in this recipe in my pantry. You may have to plan a little more. So along those lines, um, Happy Pear. So it's a couple of brothers, great cookbook. However, the caveat is this is not a vegan cookbook. It is 99% <laughs> vegan. You have to look a little closer, make sure that it's actually vegan. Uh, they use eggs and then they use some cheese, but it's definitely all vegetarian. And they're also fairly low in oil as well. 
as you go through, or any of the cookbooks, you can kind of go down and say, okay, well, what do I have in my pantry? And say, oh yes, I have an onion, I have some carrots, I have a big bag of carrots, in the, and I have uh, cumin, pepper, I have all the spices. And so a lot of times you only need a few ingredients mm -hmm. to make the recipe work. And so if you kind of think ahead, you can go get all those ingredients, and then there, everything's in the house. You can just make that recipe or make the next recipe. My favorite recipe in this book is the refried bean recipe that they use Ooh, in their tacos. Yeah. It's so good and it's actually really easy to make. I was just going to say these guys, the Happy Pair, um, they have a YouTube channel. They're really inspiring, good to watch. They have recipes step by step how I do it. Yes. Check it out. Okay. Currently, our favorite cookbook right now in is... the whole wide world. Well, that we know of. <laughs> We love it. Oh, she glows. This book has been phenomenal. The food we make out mm -hmm. of it, we haven't made a bad recipe out of it. No, it's, it's amazing. Our friend Dana, so shout out to Dana in Grand Forks, North Dakota. Yeah. Uh, she gave us this book, and I think actually this is probably our, like, I don't know, 10th incarnation of the yeah. book. We keep giving it to our friends, like, here, have ours. We'll order another one. Just because we love the recipes in it so much. Mm -hmm. So this is what we'd recommend for kind of getting started some really good food, whole food recipes. Uh, I, there's a little bit of oil in some of the recipes, which, you know, it depends on what you're going for. You can mm -hmm. kind of cut it out, cut it back. A lot of times we leave it out entirely and the recipe's still, still amazing. Good. Yeah. Out of this book, one of my favorite ones is the Goddess Protein Bowl. Protein Power Goddess Bowl. Yeah, Protein Power you can Goddess tell Bowl. We love it because the page is so dirty. Everything's all like, and this is a newer <laughs> book. But uh, yeah, so the, the uh, what is it called? The dressing for that one. Lemon tahini goddess dressing. Lemon tahini dressing. We just put dressing. that on our salads, any salad we have, because it's so yep. good, so easy to make, super simple. So like a typical meal we just had the other night was uh, Rich Roll's pasta, the pasta sauce mm -hmm. uh, with the blackened tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And then we took this dressing, the lemon tahini dressing, out of the Oshi Glows book, and then just put the, the dressing on just a bunch of salad greens, and that was dinner, really. It was delicious. Yeah. And my favorite recipe in the whole book, sweet potato black bean enchiladas with avocado cilantro cream sauce. It's amazing. Yeah. It's, you know... In fact, Dana, was the, th this is the first recipe she made for us out of this book, oh, actually. Oh, man, so delicious. Honestly, you don't miss the cheese and the enchiladas. They, they taste complete. They taste so good. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, an amazing recipe. So there's that one. Um, they also have, or she also has a second book out. We're still working our way through this so one. So this is the second version. And on top of that, she actually has an app. You can get an app on mm -hmm. your iPhone or Android. Uh, I think it's like $3.99. And on that same note, Forks Over Knives has an app as well for Super Cheap that has a bunch of recipes on there. You can just get it online and um, yeah, look at your recipes. Exactly. Out. So if you don't want to commit to a cookbook, the app and the website is a really great way to yeah. go so you can try some of the recipes and, mm -hmm. and see if you like them. If you like them, you can pick up one of the cookbooks. And yep. then uh, the Happy Pear yep. is on YouTube. I believe they have a, a website as well. Also Chloe's Kitchen. She's got a website with a few recipes on there as well. So you can sample it all, see which taste you like. Not everybody likes the same recipe, so maybe our mm -hmm. favorite recipe is your least favorite recipe. Yeah. And another thing too is when you're getting started being vegan, I think I heard some really good advice. If you find something that you like to eat that's vegan, start there. Yep. So like, oh, I, I, like, I like this, whatever it happens to be. And then you, you can eat that. And then maybe you start to like find things that you can veganize a little bit mm -hmm. and change the recipes, you know? So we always used to love like, I don't know. What did we used to love? Pizza. pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so we found a way to veganize pizza actually. So originally too, we started with like the fake meats and the day of cheese on top. And mm -hmm. now we kind of just put more vegetables on it and put uh, like spinach, spinach on top yeah. and that kind of holds things really together. Mm -hmm. And we enjoy that actually. Yeah, and the other tip that I would have is if you can master the sauces, so if you can mm -hmm. make a couple sauces that are really delicious, make those and put them on everything. <laughs> It'll yeah. make all your food good. Yeah, the sauces are really key. Like mm -hmm. we use our cheese sauce, the cheese sauce that yeah. I make. Uh, which is made from peppers and some nuts and uh, turmeric, soy sauce, all this blended together. Um, I'll get the recipe out here maybe one of these days. Uh, I'll share that with you. Dressings yeah, that salad we dressings. We have yeah. some like uh, some Caesar dressing that we we have a recipe for that we just really dig. Um, mm -hmm. You can put it with kale and kind of massage the kale, so it's more of a for heartier greens as well. Yep. And then that lemon tahini goddess dressing yeah. is just incredible. Yeah. So. Uh, maybe we can uh, whip up some of those and put them uh, in the description below. Sounds good. Give you a few recipes for, for some dressings. 
at least you can get started. So, mm -hmm. any questions, uh, please Let ask us. Let us know us. in the comments below. We'll definitely be responding. Uh, I hope this is a good start to your vegan journey. So, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to show us some real support, subscribe. And as always, look out for our next video. Thanks so much. All right. Aloha, guys. Have a wonderful day. And, and we'll see, see you, you next time. time.